Massive shout out to Blazing Boost. If you guys are struggling to get anything Destiny 2 related, weapons, items, trials, any activity, then these are the guys to go to. You get to play with pro players that will shape you through any activity and will get you the rewards you want. Also, they do have over 25,000 five star reviews on Trustpilot. So that just shows how trustworthy they are. Not only that, if you guys use save 5 at this moment in time, you will be getting a 7% discount. Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. Today we're going to be discussing what is the brand new top DPS weapon in the game. Now this thing absolutely melts enemies, it melts bosses and I'm pretty sure 9 out of 10 people watching this video will have this gun. So it's not one of them that you're going to have to grind for, you will have it, trust me, slap it on and you will be doing a lot more damage. Now I'm going to talk about a few combos you can use with this weapon, but before I do start with today's video, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe, drop a like down below for more Destiny 2 tips and make sure them notifications are on and let me know if you are in the notification gang down below. But with that said, let's talk about the weapon. Now guys, if you didn't know, shotguns, pellet shotguns have had a 25% increase in damage. That means the full horseman is absolutely insane. I don't have the catalyst. This is literally the standard one. I've just picked it up and obviously it does melt. Now that 25% increase has made it a major contender for the best DPS weapon in the game. Now if you're not familiar with it, the full horseman, arrowhead break, assault mag, Broadside, each successive shot has more damage and more spread, and then fitted stock. And then it does say this weapon's rate of fire is increased significantly and fires full auto. Basically, if you're up close with this shotgun, you're going to melt pretty much anything. And it, to be fair, the reload isn't that bad. And I'm going to show you exactly now in the Sorrows Harbour how good this weapon is at melting mini bosses and bosses. So we're going to go up to this ogre. Now we haven't got anything on DPS wise. I thought I'd do a fair test. This is literally just how good it actually is. Now, as you can see, we've pretty much took that ogre out within two bursts. Now, if you're in like a well of radiance or anything like that, this thing is crazy. Obviously, the only downfall, and I'm not going to say it's perfect, is... You've got to be up close to these bosses and these enemies. If you're far away, it's pretty much useless. However, if you pair it well with like invis like I do, obviously I can dodge to reload, so I'm getting them quick bursts off. And not only that, if you're on a warlock, you can use wells and bosses will be close up to you. So just remember that, guys. You've got to be up close. So I do actually use a sword as well because the build I do usually run, we are up close anyway. So all I'm going to do, simply get close, dodge, reload, and that's that night, that wizard done. So that is pretty much how this is going to run. Like I said, if you do sort of put perks or mods on to make it any better, it will be a lot better. What I'm going to do, guys, is leave you some gameplay of me using the Four Horseman. Try it out. Let me know if you agree with me that this weapon is insane at the minute. And as always, I will catch you in the next one. 